the myth surrounding the deep margin. Can you elevate it? And let's go right into photo number one. Very deep cavity on this first molar, already into the pulp. The patient needs to go to the endodontist. But before we refer him to the endodontist, we have to, as clinicians, as restorative dentists, we have to decide, can I restore this tooth? Can I elevate that margin super gingivally so that I can have, you know, can I create good access to this margin? And that's what this, uh, this reel is all about. So let's go to photo number two. And photo number two is the x-ray of me after completing uh, my core buildup. And as you can see, I was able to elevate that margin. But how do I do this? How am I able to accomplish this? What are the steps needed for this? So step number one is in photo number three, rubber dam isolation. This is critical. Step number two, once you have rubber dam isolation, you remove the existing restoration. You now eliminate all the caries within that margin. You want to make sure that you have a clean peripheral seal zone. And for that, I'm using a, a caries detection dye. But not only that I use caries detection dye, I also got to make sure that I can then restore this tooth. And that's when I love these saddle matrices that are super, super helpful for these deep margins. And as you're seeing right here, I have already placed that saddle matrix. And on the next video, I'm going to show you how I use it clinically. See you on the next video.